This makes no sense, Dad. Why are we being punished? Because you started a brawl at a charity football game that risked exposing what we really do here. Well, you weren't mad last night. Oh, I was mad last night. My undying love for my daughters just happened to trump my rage. I volunteered everyone in the game, so stop complaining. You're lucky that it's just community service and not actual jail time. Can I at least offer a rebuttal in my defense, if it pleases the court? Okay. First of all, I was provoked. My response was totally proportional considering the levels of abuse that I was forced to endure. And secondly, if anyone should take the blame, it's Josie. What? I'm sorry, I totally cracked under cross, but if you would just let Caleb catch you, the ball. You'd still be in trouble. That nice job throwing your sister under the bus. Thank you. Oh. Speaking of, the bus leaves in 10 minutes and I expect all three of you to be on it working together today harmoniously and without drama. End of debate. I wasn't even at the game. Why am I being punished? You know what you did. All right, now go, all of you. Aren't you supposed to help? Consider this a life lesson, Pedro. People disappoint. That statue just moved. Good one. I mean, I deserve to know what's happening just as much as Hope. I'm his freaking daughter. It's doing it again. We're being punked, Pedro. The sixth grade witches are learning illusion spells this year. It's, it's, it's. Let me guess, it's right behind me. Was he?